Good evening, Diecast listeners. We're going to have a moment of silence tonight for our dearly departed on Game of Thrones. <laughs> He's dead! Joffrey, the king is dead! Crack open the beers! Have to celebrate! Alright, um, Robert, bring us in! <laughs> Hello, everyone! <laughs> oh my god! Well, yes. so Alright, Diecast the, listeners! The... The Lord. Lord Master. Alright everyone, we have a great uh, uh, episode for you tonight. Um, we're going to be covering Game of Thrones, but really we're only going to be talking about one thing in general, and no, that is the fact... Scream and enter before we scream a giant sound warning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, put a picture of giant sound warning before like we all scream. a giant warning sign that <laughs> yes. says loud noises incoming. <laughs> yeah, you lazy bitch. But, um, that needs to happen. Uh, you know, pretty, was, pretty much we're going to talk about the one scene tonight. Um, that was loud here. And what's going to happen <laughs> now because the rest of the show we can sum it up. There were some great lines that we'll go over and everything. There was some great banter. The banter in this episode Yeah, the was banter great. was... But oh really God. what it all came <laughs> down to was the last moment when we saw that cunt dead. Joffrey. Oh, God. Joffrey's dead. If there was an incest that needed to die, that would be... All right, we're all really excited, so everybody, let's try to... Let's go in a circle. Let's everybody say something, and we then we'll all talk. We insist and not be, like, super extreme, but this happened, and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go in a circle. Let's do let's it that way. Let's kill incest. Reactions, <laughs> reactions from everybody. Yeah, reactions from everyone. Let's start with Robert. Oh, we're going to start with me? Oh, okay. Um, fuck it, awesome. <laughs> like... Okay, so I was like, okay, he's not going to die. He's faking this bullshit choking thing. And then I'm like, oh, wait, he's bleeding out his nose, and he's really pale, <laughs> and his <laughs> eyes are rolling back in his head. I'm like, he's dying. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just like, yes. I was like, the only thing I hate is that there isn't going to be more bitch slapping. In fucking I know, Denver. we didn't get any I'm more so bitch slapping. I'm so mad that there's no more bitch slapping, but yeah. besides that, Super pumped that he's dead. I just want to see how power shifts. Actually, let's um in l- all l- of this. Let's tell him the scene because I forgot we really we just yeah told we just kind of celebrated. Uh, okay, I, 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 I described it. We'll, we'll do the <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll do the quick version. It was it was King Joffrey's wedding to Marjorie Tyrell, and lots of shenanigans are going on during but, the wedding. But, but she before all of it, they balls. were announced king and queen. They were announced yes. king and queen. They, they, they were officially a giant married. Story part. That's important. They're That's important. They were officially married at this point. They were officially married and we will go into that in a bit, but uh um yes, there was some yes, there was some shit going on. We'll just say it this way. Yes. King Joffrey yes. drank from a cup. He's, uh oh, he yeah. he uh started choking. We're all thinking he's faking. He wasn't faking. And King Joffrey turned into the most horrific looking Ungraceful corpse. Hey, friend, Game put throws. up a picture of dead King Joffrey. Dead. Yes! Oh, Woo! That has to have it. This is the bitch face you will see. Yes. But um. Anyway, uh, uh let's keep going around. All right. Are we going to me next? Yeah, yeah. Yep, I did. All right. Part. Really, this kind of well, it shocked that nobody was expecting this. And if you're one of those book readers that was like, "Oh, I knew, eat my dick." Just had to say that one. I'm glad I didn't know. I was planning to read ahead. See, that's I'm why really I'm saying you should not read know. ahead because yes. it's so much fun going week to week. Being like, oh my god! You're like, in the second book, correct? I've re- I finished the second book and I'm stopping until this season's Is done. Is it to the point where you are at this point in the show? No. No. Because no? season okay. three is book three and season four is also book three. Because I was three. talking to Angela earlier today and I was like, I kind of want to read the books, but I don't, don't want to get to the point now. where I'm I will further read ahead. ahead than what we're watching. Yeah, see, I, I, I will go further ahead than what we're watching. When season four That's ends, like I'll read That's like reading like three. four Harry Potters and never seeing the first three. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we don't want to do that. All right. Continue. But anyway, I was saying I was shocked and in my mind I actually had the next couple of episodes kind of mentally mentally like and then Game of Thrones said sit down yeah like I was expecting you know Tyrion the imp to start royally fucking with Joffrey and to make his life hell and to make him want to try to kill him well Joffrey technically is in hell now yes Tyrion is kind of framed for it yeah, and I was expecting <laughs> this kind of to drag out. Yeah, all of this. and they said, "Sit your ass down, Jonathan." Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Ooh. take that! And you take an old dual sticker to the arm. <laughs> uh, 
I didn't say Odor. No, it's fine. You, I think, I'm pretty sure you can say the oh, names. He said Odor. 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 Mm. Back when I was in radio, we were actually <laughs> sponsored by Schlitz. Schlitz is the shit. That gives you no, the shit. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say Schlitz is not Just the one shit. more Schlitz. Schlitz. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you have no. one beer. Because when you're out of Schlitz, no. you're out of beer. No, Schlitz. <laughs> anyway, let's stop talking about beer and more talking anyway. about Game of Thrones. If um, I drink Schlitz, I'll end up like Joffrey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, throwing up and, and, and then eyes rolling back in my head. <laughs> Um, yeah. Angela, your, your opinion. Yeah, so Jesse. here's the thing. I was thinking, like, earlier on in the episode, I was thinking, oh, I have a great thing that I'm going to say on the podcast tonight. I'm going to talk about how I think that Sansa and Tyrion could make a really, they could have a really powerful friendship, and they could be a, a force to be reckoned with, you know? <laughs> and then it was like, eh, wrong, because eh. I think um, Tyrion, is. Tyrion's pretty well <laughs> fucked now. Oh yeah, um, he's, oh, I he's, think it's he's, over for him. He's done for it, unless they <laughs> catch that old ass lady. I don't know. I don't see. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna kill Tyrion. Because the thing I is, did don't. we explain yet. this? Yes. They, yes. It yes. appears. It appears that Tyrion there. poisoned King Joffrey. That's the way it so, looks. It appears. To everyone. Which that we it should go appears. by. But if you and clearly say, who watch the episode, he we walks will. by and grabs a completely different cup and brings it to him. In my opinion, because we'll go like, through the conspiracy theories. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll yeah. go through that after we do different this. section of this podcast. Yes, but um, no, I, that, that's I, really I, all I, I wanted views. to say. Though I thought I, I had what I thought was was going to happen um, with, especially I thought views. it was going to be a big deal with with Tyrion and Sansa, but now I'm pretty sure that that's all just blown out of the water. <laughs> 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 I don't know what you <laughs> Robert, add some awesome sound effects to the podcast. If they heard that, that, that was Joffrey's last words. <laughs> Freeman, put up a picture of a hot fart. Oh, wait, can I, can I say <laughs> one more thing? If they heard that, that yes, was yes. Joffrey's I have, last words. I have one more thought. Um, I think it's a damn shame that we did not have any kind of video going for that because we would have had the best reaction video on YouTube. Oh my god, oh, we were, Okay, we need to start like filming the last okay. 15 minutes yeah. of us watching Game okay. of Thrones now. I don't, okay, so yeah. if you look at the podcast, I'm the one with the bow tie and the fucking the suspenders. And like, <laughs> just picture me like with a gas face yes. and Here's two the, hands over my mouth at the same time I talking know, through too. them just like, I was like oh too. my god. Here's the, Here's the thing. We were all, we all were kind of doing the same thing and Squealing it was like a little girl yes yeah. but before that before that it was he's faking he's faking this is fake i was like no oh my god real. oh my god this is real he oh, oh it's like watching your friend die like in that moment when his like hands like stop quivering yeah. yes yeah, yeah, six yeah. Point six million people all went. <laughs> <"Woo!" laughs> but a lot like and then there's those bitch ass motherfuckers that were just like Oh my nigga dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Now we're that's re- that's it, officially like, all that I wanted okay. to say about that. All right. Yes. Woo. Now I I, pre- yes, I, pre- I predicted that Joffrey was going to die this season. I did not think it was going to be in the second fucking episode. Okay, I want to say yeah. Freeman, insert a picture of all us all gasping, <laughs> and we will take a picture of that and insert it there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I, <laughs> if everyone remembers our, our first one, which was last week, Right? Yes. Yeah, our first one last no, week. We one of my predictions. Uh, what, yeah. No, it was last week. One of my predictions. We did, we that did was the sarcasm. Walking Dead. He was joking. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> one no. of my predictions. Don't judge me. I'm right, we're drunk. on. We're on Nick's reaction. Uh, um, okay, Nick's reaction to. Something. I mean, my reaction was like, uh, one of, of course, joy. Everyone wants to see him. Yeah. Yeah. We saw I, that little ginger chug right. pop up. Yeah. Um, okay. A little bit can of ginger chug. Can I interrupt your interaction and say that I'm really mad that there's not going to be any more. Bitch slapping there will be no more episode. bitch slapping. But you can insert <laughs> pictures of Joffrey getting bitch slapped. By his uncle. All by his them. mom. <laughs> by his uncle again. Numerous times. <laughs> Don't worry, Freeman. It's only three Freeman, pictures. It'll be easy. Those, just four minutes of slappage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, it was two by his uncle, one by his mom, one by his uncle again. <laughs> okay. Those are easy pictures. Don't worry, Freeman. Anyway, insert those. But uh, a bitch like... I will say, one of my predictions, <laughs> if you guys listened to last week's podcast, one of my predictions was that Littlefinger would take power. Right now, 
Lou mm-hmm. figure it. Marjorie yeah. technically was married to King Joffrey, which makes her Queen Marjorie, which yes. makes her now Queen Regent. Who set up the marriage between Marjorie and Joffrey? Mm-hmm. Littlefinger, which means Littlefinger's mm-hmm. making a vie for power right now. Yeah. Okay. Outside of pocket. Y'all keep talking. This <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you guys keep talking. Littlefinger's related to nobody. Okay. <laughs> but just the fact, for simple fact that That he was has, awkward. Um, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, yeah. Robert hasn't finished all his Okay, I know we three. all want to talk about Joffrey. Let's talk a little bit about the other parts of the episode, yeah. which have been, uh, like, completely... What else, what else happened? I, I will tell you, I, I remember, okay, I want to go with one of my... Okay, we can't say that's our favorite part, because everyone's favorite part is Joffrey. No, yeah, uh, why, 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 oh why, don't why don't we go around and give our favorite parts my, other than his death? My favorite moment was when Jamie Lannister was thrown threatening Loras Tyrell, you know, about marrying his sister. And he, he one of his lines was, but don't worry, you'll never marry my sister. And then Sir Loras pats Jamie on the show <laughs> and goes, don't worry, you will never will oh either. Oh my god, that's it's like, amazing! It's like, applied to burn area. Freeman, and uh, applied to burn area <laughs> meme. <laughs> just like a bottle of water being poured out of burn spot. We just like, splish. <laughs> Splash, you got burnt, sir. That was probably my favorite part, was him just like, hey, don't worry, you're not going to get to marry your sister either. <laughs> you know? Oh, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm personally a big fan of the little Stark boy doing his old dire wolf dreams. Yeah, you like that? Shit's he's, pretty awesome. Yeah, he likes like, watching the like, little boy sleep. T- <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, God. But, <laughs> like... No. Hey, Freeman, right. put up a picture of Carl. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Crying in the shower. <laughs> Crying Eating in the shower. Cookies. Hugging a wolf. <laughs> Hugging <laughs> Oreo cream out the center. <laughs> what? Freeman, do not do the last part. That's too far. <laughs> if, if we're going in there, we got to go all the way in there. <laughs> um, you. But no, like, I feel like he, he's, like, I don't know. I have a big feeling that his dreams that he has via him being the wolf are going to play a big part in some shit. Oh, I agree. Yes. I agree. It's going to play a Brand's massive gonna be, part. Brand's going to be like, really him important. Him and Jon Snow, I feel like, are coming into this shit. He's like, not having dire dreams. Wolf, he's having fucking yeah, he's gung-ho. Having ho, just, I, I don't care if he's having visions or what he's having. Or wet like, dreams. Like his werewolf dreams. I'm going to be having wet dreams. I'm not going to call them wet dreams. I'm going to call them werewolf dreams. Well, I'm just saying. Because it sounds like so much more relevant. He's dreaming about actual shit that's but going on. He, he, I got a feeling it's going to fucking play a hell of a lot yeah. of importance. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Because I want to see the Starks do something. Oh, they're going to do something. And them being <laughs> dire wolf, gonna do clan type people, shit's going to get real. Probably have and a it's going to be dinner. awesome. Especially okay. now that like the little cunt is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Amortis. All right, here we go. My favorite scene was the late King Cuntbag doing his <laughs> reenactment of <laughs> the how the War of the Five Kings The reenactment went. was fun. The, the reenactment was like... It was hilarious. It was really awkward, though. Was anyone in the re- room, like our room, feeling yeah, a little awkward was, watching that? that? You're just like... Mm. Yeah. Well, and, it was funny at first, and then yeah. it kind of slowly got uncomfortable. But yeah, and the main thing with that one was the best part of that Can scene we? was Tyrion's anger. Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion's anger well, I mean, at them, like, am- misusing the dwarves. You, so, yeah, I mean, you can imagine really that. He is a dwarf, and they're using gold. dwarves in an entertainment. He's just looking over and there, like, just, really? Like, paid and I love, gold after yes, he's he's like, like, every one of them gets 20 gold. And then him calling him out. Hey, well, you know, if you're a champion. Well, they didn't, he didn't accept. No, well, because he's a cunt, you know. Yeah. Well, now he's, he's, a, like, dead now he's a dead cunt. <laughs> he's like, oh, well, you're hey, fine. I've never turned like, down. Uh, 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 Freeman, uh, edit out me saying something about necrophilia. Edit in flowers for your wife. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Edit, edit me out of the dog house right now. <laughs> the hound house. This is Game of Thrones. Oh, it's, it's the hound, hound house. house. And then edit in podcast, some hound <laughs> chicken. Some hound, some hound fried chicken. Hound fried chicken, please. Yes. Insert. Picture of the hound with as a Hearthstone card. Oh God! 
Anyway, Freeman's gonna be busy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um. Anyway. Uh, um. Uh, okay. What that picture? Okay. Um. It was like plus five. My brain is totally like clouded <laughs> by what went down with Joffrey. Let me think for a second. Okay. Um, yeah, there was it, it, something. It just ruined like I watched I, the whole episode. and I was like, oh my god. I know. It just and then blew that away happened, everything and I'm like, else. The rest of the episode is irrelevant. Um, like <laughs> I know. Joffrey's I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I like. Old girl. Um. Oh girl. What's her name again? Brienne. Brienne of Tarth. Okay, I it's liked the, that moment between oh, her and Cersei. Oh, Jane Lynch, bitch, right? The, the, the sister jealousy was I love the jealousy. Oh, oh yeah. That Cersei. that Cersei Lannister is jealous of Brianna Tarr. Yes. You don't get yes. to fuck my brother, yes. only I get to fuck and my brother. I had Jane Lynch is the bitch, and that bitch Cause my favorite forever thing. my Jane Lynch of Game of Thrones. Yeah, she's like, awesome. Game of Thrones. My favorite thing, my favorite non-Joffrey thing was... Uh, Cersei asking her, but you, but you love him, and, and she, she didn't, didn't say no. no. <laughs> so yeah, yes. Brienne of Tarth loves Jamie she's Lannister. She's a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's gonna be. You gonna make me oh come, or I'm gonna kick you away. Like, Pretty much. Her, her, and like, okay, I don't know if God, any of the other people ear, are like. Great. Now here's here's something I didn't think about. Just a little random thought. But um, it's like her and her, like, okay. I don't know if any of you guys are Gleeks. Mm, I watched no, Gleek. No. I've watched every single episode of Gleek. <laughs> we okay, don't this is where, like... Except for Immortus. This is where I go gay. <laughs> like, I like Gleek. Oh, you gonna I'm go gay later. I like geek things, like Gleekin. Like, that's my thing. Like, all the whole fucking Glee episodes. But, like, when and I see her... And I picture, Robert riding on a rainbow. <laughs> I picture her and Nene Leakes arguing... <laughs> but it's like Jane Lynch and Needy Leaks arguing, but it like interprets into Game of Thrones. That's what happens in uh. my brain. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. It's a scary world in there. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I, I would I've it never is. thought I would say this. You have got one twisted ass brain. <laughs> but um Fuck, what was I gonna Come say? After, 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 after that, that I don't remember what I was you gonna say. You have no idea after I mentioned Needy <laughs> Leaks and Jane Lynch. Um, <laughs> Don't even exactly. Oh, 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 oh I remember what I was going to say. I remember, <laughs> I remember what I was going to say. Think about this. Okay, so um, Jamie Lannister, he's the Kingslayer, right? He happens to come in town and like a week later, the king's dead again. He's, the king poisoner. Like he's been the the commander of the king. Well, no, he's never been the commander. That was Barristan Selmy who was the commander. But he's been on the king's guard for two dead kings. No, three dead kings now. <laughs> yeah. He is. But he's missing a hand. Now he's missing. Oh, a hand. that. But he does have fucking bard. Bard. Our, our thoughts on is who it did bard this? or bard? Yes. Let's go ahead and let's start that with um. Our thoughts right. on who did this? Who killed who, Joffrey? Or yeah. what group of people killed, killed Joffrey? Joffrey? Okay. Uh oh god. Uh, I want to say it's the old lady. I can't. The I don't know uh, her name Lady Tyrell. Lady Tyrell. Yes. I want to say she master, had something to, to do with it. Along with, like you said, Littlefinger. I feel like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go really deep into this there, conspiracy. So everyone somewhere in between okay. there, they are connected because she would. I, I don't know. And or his actual queen, his wife that he took. Okay. Like because oh, as soon as they were done, the thing is, he had um, what's his name? The imp. Mm-hmm. He had him. He was like, bring me my wine, blah, blah, blah. But he walked all the way across him to get a cup from in front of Lady Lannister. Tyrell. Lady Tyrell. I lied. <laughs> Lady Tyrell. And come back and bring it to him. I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like that might have, like, it's kind of like product type placement. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's maybe product placement type deal. Like, oh, you fed him Pepsi. We wanted him to have Coca-Cola. Nah, he's going to die. <laughs> Insert pictures of Pepsi and Coca-Cola. No, and no, no, no. Do not frame it. 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 Do not frame I actually think this is more simplistic than people are thinking. Because this really couldn't... Uh, all right, this is my, I don't believe this could have been that well planned out for one thing. 
all of this kind of started from King Joffrey being a cock and kicking the glass. Well, it could have been. All right, see, this is what I believe happened. <laughs> he. You, shush, I don't make sense. You're almost as bad as me. Yes. Anyway, what I believe happened was we're all aware of Sansa, her brother's recent death, her horrors happening with her family. Yeah. And we know that deadly, deadly mother beep in Nightshade, horrible shit, also used as a sleep aid. If you were that distraught, would you not have a little bit of that on you? You would. He, I believe Joffrey kicks the glass. She reaches under the table... First, like, okay, here, let me help him. And then sees her point. Couple of dashes so, in the oh, thing. Oh, so you're saying... And you're then saying the hands Stark it off to Tyrion. It. Yes, so I'm saying, saying the Stark girl did it. I'm saying after seeing the midget jokingly beheaded by... Oh, um, yeah. yeah I believe she's... Yeah, she's that's totally entirely possible. She was that's really mad good. on the whole reenactment. I mean, because the look factor. on her face, there was okay. no expression. Yeah, yeah, she was yeah, just yeah, shot yeah. and... She was know. just like... She looked pissed as hell. Like, she that was so mad. She was just like... And here's gonna, another thought on... The, a com- just compounding on your... Of my here's a compounding on your idea is... What if she accidentally killed him? What if she just put Nightshade in it just sort of like fuck with him and embarrass him? But put just too like, much in oh, there and just kill you to oh, pass God. out and then she ended up dying. That's a good, that's a good theory. I like that theory. Yeah. I, mean, it's I mean, it's simplistic, it's but possible. that's how I like to keep shit. But I didn't think about what you said. Like, yeah, she, she would have trouble said, sleeping. She did touch said glass. Yeah, and, and it's not something that she of. wouldn't have being, you know, distraught. And the Grand Master would, you know... Meister. And they did Meister. just make fun of her fucking dad. Yeah, and like brother. And, well, no, that was no, her brother. That wasn't her dad. No, but early on the episode when he said he had his sword... Oh, like, yeah, like, yeah, when he dropped the book And like they the did man. just give him a sword made of, of, of Valyrian steel. I'm doing the Joffrey-esque ah, writhing in my ah. seat right now. That okay, she wants to say her opinion. I think I may have stolen her fire. <laughs> he stole it. Um, he stole what I was going to say. Oh, no. I think it was Sansa. I, I'm with you. Sansa. Sansa, whatever. Sansa. However you Sansa. pronounce it. I think it was Sam her. Sarah. She had Wait a minute. Put a picture of Sam Sarah. Shut up. You stole my whole theory. <laughs> Don't talk over me. Only okay? the lore master knows how exactly how to say everyone's names. All right. I, I can see how it could be a group thing, and I'm not 100% on that it was her, but uh, I, I really strongly think she did it. She had no expression on her face through all this, all this shit that was going on. And she bent down and picked up the cup and handed it to him. And she she referenced, there, it was referenced at some point, I can't remember the exact conversation, but it was referenced earlier. I didn't think it was even in this show. I think it was in the last episode. She was having trouble sleeping. Yeah. So and she Tyrion, went and they offered Here's the, the other drugs. thing, though. Tyrion asked her, can I get you some essence of nightshade? So, who do you think provided nightshade? Yeah. Tyrion. Who knows? They see, they're blaming no, Tyrion right now because I mean, he's she, the one who handed him the cup. Maybe he actually did. She has yeah. suffered so much. Have. She's gotta be at her breaking point. But, the thing is, like, I don't know if exactly he did it because, like, everything that he was trying to force him to do, he just looked at him like, fuck you. I'm not gonna do this goddamn shit. Well, maybe that's because he knew he was about to kill him. Anyway, yeah, okay, so um, I, I, I have a theory. It's a little bit complicated. I really like that theory, though, that Sansa did. I, yeah. But I'm going to throw another theory out there. I'm not sure which theory I'm going to set on quite yet. I'm going to watch the episode again. But here's my theory, and it's a complicated one, so hold on to your britches. Which Can I hold on to my dick? Over? It's or, already in my hand. Or your dick, or whatever. <laughs> it stays in my hand pretty much. I have a beer. Yeah, th- this is true. Um, okay, so this all has to do with balance of power. Now, Marjorie Tyrell is officially married to King Joffrey, which officially makes her queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, now Joffrey's dead. So that rest official, in hell. Rest in hell. Uh, <laughs> and that officially makes her queen Praise regent. Jesus. <laughs> that makes her queen regent, which means that now the Lannisters don't have power on the throne. The Tyrells do. <laughs> I got the vapors. No, it's hot. I'm sorry, it is hot in this room, and I'm really yeah, it's pretty hot. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm starting to get a little bit of the swamp ass. Please please continue. But so the Tyrells are the power in in Westeros right now, and um, 
And I have to think back to my earlier prediction. Who set up the marriage? Don't do the thing. The, the Tyrells now have power. Who put the Tyrells in the position to take power? Fucking shifty eyed little little finger. Mm-hmm. Little I, little finger. I have a Regular feeling I have a feeling this has been planned since Renly died in his tent. I have a feeling it's been planned since that very night. See, I can see that too, though. I can, I can see that perspective of it, and I think that's a strong possibility. Yeah. Also, I believe because they they did something weird in this episode, which I mean, which, which seemed a little strange. They showed Grandmaster Pycelle that he hasn't been in episodes for a while, and he wasn't very, you know, important. And the conversations they had that weren't important, but I think no. there was a hidden message. I think this was a collaboration between all of the Tyrells. Maybe not um, Loras. He seemed kind of. Eh. Dude. Yeah, but I believe Lady Tyrell, Marjorie Tyrell. Hodor. Hodor. <laughs> Freeman, picture Hodor. <laughs> yeah, get on it. Um, <laughs> get on it. Um, <laughs> the Tyrells, Littlefinger, Grandmaster Pycelle, I believe were all in on it. And who knows, Sansa might have been on it, in on it too. I think she definitely was. I see. I really like the theory that she did it. Could but she... I don't know if she did it or not. I'd like to think that she I don't did. Know. But I think she was at least in on it or knew about it. I believe she was in on it because here's she the, seemed worried. But because here's but the other option. Extremely worried. Here's the here, here's the other thing. <laughs> oh my god, I man, this son is dying. Yeah. Here's the other thing. <laughs> um, Sansa huh. and Marjorie are like BFF. <laughs> Everybody, quick, breathe deep. Dragon but but they're like BFFs. Dragon Sansa might have been like, um, the dragons are coming. Dragon dragon <laughs> but it's like, um, um, oh. so maybe like it was sort of like a, hey BFF, will you kill my husband? Yeah. <laughs> and so she killed her. Yeah, they are very friendly. They're, They're very, very friendly, friendly together, so I have a feeling like... She's got a little bit of that lesbo going on. She wants some sounds of... Oh, and gay-ass. I can almost guarantee you... There were some, like, gay-ass... I can, no, see, I can shit. almost... Actually, you know what? I can almost guarantee you the Tyrells were at least in on it. You know it why? Can, honestly... You want to know why? <laughs> Season 3, Episode 1. You remember when they were asking Sansa? <laughs> There's a dragon behind you. <laughs> it's a mosquito dragon! God. Run! <laughs> Dude... For those of y'all at home who can't see this, there's a mosquito that's about six inches in diameter. It's one of them skeeter the eaters. For but, um, all of you red But I out bet there. you that the Tyrells were involved in it for this one reason. Do you guys remember season three, episode one, when they were having the conversation with Sansa about what Joffrey was like? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. They wanted to know, are we killing a good king or not? And remember when Sansa was like, oh, he's a monster. And Marjorie, and Marjorie is sort of like, oh, that's too bad. He's a little bitch. He fucking yeah. Took that some conversation does. And stick didn't out even use hookers what they were made for. He like made. Everyone's them. already seen this, Robert. Oh we're just rehashing God. stuff. I'm just that's saying happened. he took hookers and made them beat each other. Yeah, yeah. he was a bad guy. That's why we're happy. He's horrible. But uh, no, I so I I really <laughs> believe the Tyrells were involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> two hookers, you used them. Yeah, I can, yeah exactly. I can see that. If and you honestly, got two hookers, you got to get an eight ball. No, but what's really cool Stay is that it could mind. literally be it. just about anyone. Like, it really could. That's what's going to happen <laughs> now. Everyone's going to be talking killers. about who killed the dragon slayer. <laughs> but <laughs> in the end, in the end, though, does it really matter? He's dead. No, no, it matters oh to God. me. But it, it, it matters to me. It, you want to know who to give credit for? No, the thing Thank. is, I am beyond Let's go being happy. Row. We'll start with Angela. Uh, well, because I'm already talking. Why are you happy that he's I'm, dead? No, I'm beyond happy about him being dead. I thought I would be just thrilled about that, and that would be good enough for me. But it, the shock of it happening so soon, I'm like, oh my God. Like, I don't even know how to react to this. I, I'm just... Boiling. My brain is gone. It's. Ugh, I don't even know what to say. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> that I don't know what to say about it. What well, what was the question we were having? The question? I was just saying we should all like say our response. To like like I know we've said like oh we've my, done our reactions to him dry, dying, but what do we think's gonna happen now? What do I think is going to happen now? God, that's a hard one because it's just... <laughs> you know, oh, I mean, more. there's so no, many I honestly things don't, there's that no, can happen now that Joffrey There's dead. really... You know Tyrion's I mean? life is in jeopardy. That's what's going to happen Tyrion's now. life Tyrion is in jeopardy. Tyrion, first and, of But all. here's the thing. I don't think they're going to... I think something's going to happen. He'll be fine. 
I don't think it'll be okay. I think the Tyrells may seize power. See, I think the Tyrells are going to seize power and he'll be fine, but also they might be using him as a scapegoat. Yeah, true. Now here's... Oh, wait, I just thought of something. Because he was like... We also forget who was in the capital at the time and who really fucking hates Lannisters. Yeah, I'll Prince Oberyn was in yeah. the capital. Yeah. He might have had something. That's true. Hell, the whole he was, damn, that, that's what the whole saying. damn seven there kingdoms is, sound like there they were. There is no like possible future next episode we can like <laughs> elaborate on. It's like, like really, it's hard uh, at this point. Geoffrey died at his wedding. Um, at that point, it's we just do know that like, we uh, do know that Sansa escaped though because the fool Sir Dentos. He yeah. he took he took her away, so she's escaped King's Landing now. Yeah. Um. We know Tyrion's but gonna be it. in chains. <laughs> we know Cersei's gonna be like, oh my poor little baby. Oh, my son, he did. You know what I think though? Um, the, the, the new Jamie, woman. Jamie gonna do a shit. What's the Jamie don't what's give the her new, a new one. Queen's Jamie's name? like, oh. the new queen, Marjorie Tyrell. Marjorie. Okay. Um. It, just, it, did, it did just occur to me that <laughs> Tyrion. Off with his head! Tyrion's in a lot of trouble, obviously, but she's the queen now, so can't she just say nobody can touch him? But what if she had something to do with it? She has a scapegoat. She can, but she can be like, I'm trying to get rid of everybody that's in connection with this motherfucker. It's entirely possible. Not many people like Lannisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lannisters no really like Lannisters. But then the thing is, like. But, um, what happens when the Starks randomly like reappear and take over as everything? As White Walkers? This is like what I want there's, to happen. There's I need Starks. the Starks to rule everything. <laughs> this is well. This, who knows? That might be in Bran's future. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is my like opinion on Game of Thrones. I want the Starks and or Daenerys Targaryen to. Okay, well, you just mentioned you want them to rule. Yeah, you just mentioned yeah. every Game of Thrones but... fan ever wanted what they want to happen. <laughs> So <laughs> I want all the awesome characters to do awesome things. I need dragons exactly. and the Starks to roll out. Like she can have the South. They can have Ned the North. Ned come back as a ring wraith you know? and fly into battle. I want awesome I can, things. On a like carrying his on head a in a yes. with like, Sauron's head, just like. <laughs> <laughs> like but um, the rings fans, you'll get it. But um, I mean, we're coming. We're coming to the close to the yeah. end of our podcast. Uh. Any last quick thoughts and quick thoughts for Senator Robert who rambles? Uh, I ramble a lot. Um, quick thoughts. I basically gave you all of them. I need Lord of the take Rings and Game of Thrones to combine and become God. Okay. <laughs> Mortis. All right, quick thoughts. Really kind of worried about, you know, the imp. Um, if Sansa didn't have anything to do with it, possibly I believe his Hua. Who was just recently banned? Shay. I didn't Shay. think about her either. Like, was say, like, just <laughs> recently. It could be it the the just fool and Shay both have really reasons to. Everyone has reasons. Yeah. 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 But yeah. on to Nerodia. Uh, holy Let's shit! I mean, <laughs> what else is there? Uh, this is all I got. Holy shit! Yeah, that's um, really all I have. I, I really, I, I'm. Uh, the law master. I'm just, I'm just happy he's dead. I'm, I'm just happy the, the douchebag is dead. The dick in the box is dead. I really didn't think they could wieners, shock me. Wieners, wieners, wieners. Like, I feel like that music should come on now as, like, <laughs> victory. If, if they hadn't had copyright Now, okay, on this is my wieners. one last thought on this. Everyone loved to hate Joffrey. Now the person we all love to hate is dead. Who are we going to hate? Um, little finger. Little finger, you dick! <laughs> little finger! Ruse <laughs> Bolt, you're, you're a dick, bastard! Yes. Lord Frey, you're a dick. You are all still dicks. We can hate yes. all of you. Death to Lord Frey! <laughs> Lord Frey's a douche. Yeah. Hate Yay. Lord Frey. You sucked in Harry Potter too, asshole. <laughs> but, um... Not yet. Oh, we okay. have to have a real <laughs> outro. That was his last thoughts. That was okay, okay. Um, old girl... From fucking Harry Potter is fine as hell. Clicking. He's talking about Tom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for uh, listening to this week's podcast. Uh, we'll be doing a midweek podcast. Yeah, midweek, midweek podcast we'll be doing a, should be I'm coming up Wednesday. Thursday. We'll be doing a mid midweek Wednesday. podcast and everything, and we hope you guys have enjoyed um, uh, listening to our podcast. I know I, I love doing this. I look forward to this I every week. It's so much fun. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll it's continue so to fun. do them, and we'll keep you updated on what's going on in Westeros from the Loremaster. Good night. And catch you later. Clicky.